well, do you want to be a writer? Well, I always did, but I flunked English in college, so I never thought I'd have any chance of being a writer. But then I wound up writing a hundred books, you know, sold millions and millions of copies, a two New York Times bestseller lists. I did a column for Good Housekeeping and the New York Times Syndicate and, and most of the major newspapers and everything. But it's funny now, I mean, this is years back, and, and now it's all different. And I wish I knew about these kinds of things that are available to help writers today yeah. <laughs> because it would have been a lot easier than the way I did it years ago. I mean, I used to go you know, to a place called Literary Marketplace and that book is still around. It's online, literarymarketplace.com and they tell you who buys writing and stuff like that. But in, to find a literary agent and all that. But that's a shrinking business and it's, you know, it doesn't really have much of a future and you have to learn the new sources out there. You know, if you want to become a writer or live as a writer or whatever and what money programs and help that's available. Now, as a writer, I mean, you're really like a small business person. So what you really have to know first is all the free help you could get to solve any kind of business problems you have. Maybe you have a problem with your taxes or should you incorporate you got to sign contracts with some somebody like that you know how do you write off your home or something as a writer any of those kind of issues how do you do a press release how do you do marketing you can get all that help for free and, and that's available in something called the small business development centers there's thousands of them all around the country and if you go to this website asbdc-us.org that's a s bdc-us.org and you just put in your zip code there and you'll find you know you know a half a dozen in your area probably and these are people that get grants to help you with any kind of those uh, logistical problems you don't have to be a business you're a freelance writer or something like that trying to make money as a, a writer that they're available to you see I didn't know that when I was starting this kind of stuff and you're guessing you you hire experts you hire lawyers accountants and all that you don't have to do that. And I also have some videos, uh, free videos of uh, um, interviews of these people who give this kind of help for free. And that's available on my YouTube channel, which is Matthew Lesko 70. I guess I'm 70 years old now. <laughs> it's YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, we have links right here that you could watch, watch those videos. Now, the best thing I think for writers that want to publish a book is that instead of hiring a literary agent or knocking on publishers' doors, there's websites that help you with all this for free. They don't take any money. They know the publishing industry and what it's like now. They know all the things you have to do. They help evaluate everything for free and they won't be snobby publishers. These are people, you know, that help you raise money for your book or whatever kind of thing you're, you're trying to write. And they're just wonderful things to know. And one is called Incubate, I-N-K-U-B-A-T-E dot com. That's I-N-K-U-B-A-T-E dot com. And the other one is PubSlush, P-U-B-S-L-U-S-H. P-U-B-S-L-U-S-H. Now there's other crowdfunding sites that you could use to raise money, but these two are the ones that really specialize for writers. The others are filmmakers and all, all kinds of things, you know, small business and everything, and you could use them. So if you look for crowdfunding sites, you may want to shop around, but they're the main two just for writers because you have a lot to learn just by using them. It, and we have two interviews from them uh, on our YouTube channel that's uh, YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70 and if you're watching this now on YouTube there's links you know I provide to to go right to them in YouTube and watch the interviews of the people who run these sites so you get a better idea of what's available to you and to learn the industry that's what about and another thing as a writer remember you know, apps man there are like a million apps in the app store you know in, in iTunes a million I mean we only publish like 300,000 books a year. So if you're a writer, you know, you should think about how you can <laughs> use your uh, information you want to write about and turn it into an app. And there's easy ways to do it. Everything I'm telling you about is free 
doesn't cost any money, and it's a source to get money. These websites know how to get money to you and get money for your idea, and they help you for free so you could start learning them. That's why the snobism has gone out of all this stuff, and it's really democratized for the average person like you and a schmuck like me who flunked English. <laughs> I got lucky and, and did a lot of books. But here we also have a video on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you know, Don't write a book at $20,000 dollars to write an app <laughs> and you can do that there's a lot of free help you watch that video there and that will uh, tell you a lot about how to use app as an alternative you know to getting information out there now another thing we have is a lot of videos of people who got free money for their writing projects you know and we have a dozen or so videos of people who use the internet didn't use traditional sources, didn't go to publishers, you know, the in New York City and get turned down by these snobs or whatever. You know, no, they just went on the internet and figured it out how to get it. Now, if uh, they're on the YouTube channel, and here, there's one here, this, this woman who wrote a kid's robot book and got $13,000 know, <laughs> from the internet to write the kid's robot book. She did a little outline, did a little video, put it on the web, and she raised money on it. So you can do that. This is how to be a writer nowadays. Well, here's another one. Uh, this writer got $2,800 of free money on the internet to go to a conference because she's a writer and want to talk about her book. So this is another way to get money for free to get somewhere where you could promote your books. Or how about starting a blog? You know, I like this woman who started a cooking blog and got $13,000. Now we have a video on that. You know, how she started this little blog for free and then uh, parlayed that into raising money on the internet to get $13,000 to do a cookbook. $11,000, I'm sorry. Or, or how about this guy in his basement? He got $2,200 to make fun of his wife. He was writing jokes about his wife. He wrote a little cartoon <laughs> about his wife. And, and so he was dying to be a war writer and always wanted to do this. See, this is what's available to you now. As a writer, I mean, to use these tools, these are new things. When I was coming up writing, no one could go to the internet and get 20 grand or something like that to be a writer. No, but that's possible nowadays. You know? Or how about this guy in San Francisco? He wanted to do a photo book on San Francisco. He got $7,000 or about 6000 something. You know? uh, or a guy in uh, Rhode Island who got almost $6,000 to do what he calls an urban fairy tale. See, this is all free money from the internet, not from traditional publishers. It's using the crowds on the internet you know, uh, to get this kind of money to do these kind of projects. You know? And that's why the world is changing. I mean, the, the traditional you know, writing business, I mean, that's over. It's going to be a shrinking business. It's all these new things. Or here's a guy in New York City who got, was turned down by all the big publishers. So he went on the internet and he got $32,000 to do a book about comics, you know, stand-up comedians, you know, those kind of people, <laughs> kind of thing. And then there are a whole bunch of interviews we have really with people who did photograph books. I mean, these are nice coffee table books, and, and this one guy did one on the environment. He got $16,000 for his photograph book. Uh, another uh, fellow who was doing, uh, you know, photographs of people very poor. And he was trying. He was giving part of the money to the poor people and everything. And he got ten thousand dollars on the internet to complete that project. Or, or a guy did a like a travelogue of England. It looked like he got seventeen thousand dollars on the internet. So he's publishing it himself. He gets all the rights, all the money, all everything. This is what all this stuff is about. You don't have to share with a publisher. You go to a publisher, they give you five percent, seven percent if you're lucky or whatever. Now here you're getting a hundred percent. Or there's a photographer who went to China. To, to document the workers who actually make all our stuff that we use here. <laughs> and it's a, a delightful uh, book of the real people who, who make these things in the factory. So he wanted to honor these factory workers. And that's cool. Or this woman who took her passion, you know, for uh, reindeer, actually, uh, 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 in 
uh, near the North Pole and spent some time up there and then got $17,000 to do a beautiful work of art on that. See, I mean, this is what's available out there. Now, also put together is some items that you may not know about to help you. See, if you're a writer, you know, you're trying to make ends meet, you know, deliver pizza or whatever, <laughs> just to keep food on the table. Well, there's other ways of doing that nowadays. And I put together eight websites that you could learn in about 60 seconds how to get a couple thousand dollars, you know, a month of extra money, just part time at, at home. Uh, they're not scams you know they're 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 you know they cost no money they're not going to charge you any money because they take a small percentage of the money you're getting so they they go out and get you this work or opportunities or whatever and then they take a small percentage so if you go to again uh, my youtube channel youtube matthewlesco.com uh, matthewlesco70 i'm sorry youtube slash matthewlesco70 and and you'll see it, it's eight websites in 60 seconds you know, uh, to learn about these free money sources. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a, a click here to watch all those. Now there's another thing too that you should, if you're struggling you know, writer, to know about all the other programs that are available in the government to help you pay your bills and expenses while you're learning how to you know, make a living, a full-time living as a writer. And, and if you go to lesco.com, L-E-S-K-O.com, you know, and you go up to the, if you're a member, it's the member section. If you're not a member, it's a non-member section. And, and members could really get like 25 programs just in their state, just in your state, that will help you pay your phone bill, pay your electricity bill, pay your heating bill, you know, uh, pay your car bill, pay your credit card uh, debt off, all, all these kinds of things that are available that people don't know because nobody advertises. And, but so we have the exact you know person to contact in your state and, and so look for that it's the top 25 now one more thing don't forget health care I mean so many people determine their career by just a health care plan you know I can't do something I really want to do in life and contribute more to society because I need to stay this lousy job I hate because I need the health care plan for me and my family. Well, Obamacare solves a lot of that problem now because it's a place that no matter if you have pre-existing a condition or not, you have a lot of money, you got little money, you're going to get health care, you know, and it's going to be available and it is now through the uh, program and there's a lot of subsidies. You could be making up to $90,000 a year and get subsidized health care. They give you cash help you pay for health care so make sure you look at that because if that's at all stopping you and it does to a lot of people they, they get tied down to something they hate doing for the rest of their life because it's just a health care plan and and that seems a ridiculous way to live I mean we need the best you have you know America needs the best you have inside of you and you only know what that is you know and, and so you have to bring that out and you have to bring that out to the rest of us and contribute as much as you possibly can in life. That's what life is about. You giving the rest of us the best you have and as much as you can. Now, before you spend a nickel on some professional money person or whatever, a consultant or investment advisor or anything, go to lesco.com and use my free toolbar. I got a search engine toolbar that will show you how to get free help, free money for any problem you have or investment you're trying to decide or situation you got to solve before you hire some professional. And there's seven buttons. You just press the button and get the help. Like here, the first button is the five guess best grants. Then five easy places to get money right now. These are all government programs or how to get out of debt so you don't have to hire anybody. These are, I'm giving you all all the information right here on these buttons. You, I'm not going to charge you a nickel or ever or whatever. Or even to start a business. The place, best places to start a business. So you don't have to hire an accountant and all this kind of stuff or whatever. Or how to fight back and get legal help for free. That's available in this country. You don't have to pay for that. You know, or how about free money search? You know, There's a free search we have to search 17,000 government programs for you to find out what is for you. right? Or just so you can sign up and get our news that are due for free. I guess that's the only thing it'll cost you. <laughs> so it's lesco.com and see the toolbar. It's free. 
Okay, now here's two dads in Texas that, you know, are starting to raise kids. They got like 10, 11, 12, 15 year olds now. And they're thinking about college. What are we gonna, how are we gonna pay for this college, man? It's so much and everything. They find out how to get money on the web. That's right, <laughs> on the internet. They came up with an idea. This idea is <laughs> how to track people. So one guy's a techie kind of guy, and, and he figured out how you could track and find people uh, and follow people or trace people. And, and it's like if, if, if you send somebody a package, instead of getting insurance on it, because this device, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I gotta track something going down my throat. And this device is only like 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. You throw it in the package and it'll tell you no matter where it is. You put it in your luggage, Joe. Yo, and then the, only, the airline can never lose your luggage because you'll always know where it is. It's on the GPS of your phone. Or actually, you could wear one of these things when you're you know, going on a, uh, you know, a marathon or something like that. And then you could plot how well you did on the whole marathon because it shows you on the map apps where and when and everything sort of like leaving breadcrumbs where you've been and also you know how Google has the video of all the streets and everything well this gives you a street version view of you driving down the highway put one in your kid's car and it'll tell you it'll send you an email if the kid's speeding that's right it could do that or you want to know where they are or whatever you, you're delivering pizzas and you have a pizza place and you want to know where all your cars are and what they're doing and what they see on the road if, if the traffic is real bad you can tell you can just shows you on the GPS and even the video uh, of what that place looks like where they are and, and so they're not yeah you know, they're in front of some bar instead of delivering the house they should be at yeah you know, this is a little of a homeland security stuff that's a neat gadget and so reasonable I mean 20 30 bucks that's it yeah so, and that way they got like forty thousand dollars already you know on the internet to help with their college degrees for their kids yeah that's why they're motivated to do this so watch how they did it well Matt and Michael man what a team man you're gonna <laughs> track everybody in the world to do what they want to do and never lose anything else for the rest of their life right <laughs> but more importantly I mean you you have a tracking device for an app that is probably the cheapest thing I've ever seen I mean it's the best value I've ever seen any kind of tracking plus you guys like could keep history. I mean, there's so many applications, not only losing your kid or an old fart like me with Alzheimer's or whatever, that I'm wandering out in the highway, you can find me with this little device, uh, but all the other things. I mean, my kid, I'm thinking, he, he, he loves, runs marathons, so he could have this little device and then replay the whole marathon on the map to see where he was. And, and you guys have something, the video you can see on this thing. Man, it's like having a, a video in the front of your car. It's not this normal <laughs> Google stuff. I don't know how you did all this. Uh, well, where'd you find the ideas to do all this? Well, all the ideas and stuff, I just, sit around and think of them, I guess. So, <laughs> so many ideas to, to do, it's just which one do you tackle first, you know? Wow. I, I tell you, it all starts with Michael's book. He's got a book of ideas. Oh, really? So, what is it? So, so anyways, it, it's funny. So Michael's very humble in nature, so I'll go ahead and speak on behalf I of I see, Michael. okay, you're the front so, man. <laughs> so, so, so Michael's a serial entrepreneur. He's actually an award-winning entrepreneur um, uh -huh. for inventions. And he came to me about four months ago, um, just to tell you how, how close we are. We, uh, we get together about every Friday, every other Friday for pizza and wine, uh, because <laughs> wine goes well with pizza and pizza goes Ooh. well with pizza. <laughs> and so, and he said, I have an idea. And he goes, uh, let me run it by you. About a week later, he had a prototype and, wow. he had, and he had the software stood up where I can actually start taking a look at it. So between his background of serial inventions, uh -huh. Uh, for software and hardware, my background in business, sales, and marketing, we realized that we could bring something really unique and cost-effective to the marketplace. Wow. No, and, and reading your background, said you're really looking for a way to pay for your kids' at college education, too, aren't you? <laughs> at, at the end of the day, that's really what <laughs> I, But one of the impetus was, I mean, you have a, uh, Michael, your, your daughter's three years old, is that it? That's right. And, 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 and Matt, you you got, you got a 16 year old kid who's going to be out on the highway soon. Yeah, I have a 16, a six, and a four. Wow. How about your discussion with the track cloud? 
But it's funny, so yeah, when I talked to my 16 year old, I said, we have an idea and you're gonna be our first use case. This basically went from, dad, I love it when you've got great ideas. He goes, what does it do? And I said, we're gonna be able to track everywhere you drive. He goes, <laughs> he's gonna think you're part of Homeland Security or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> but and it's actually pretty, making your own. Excited. Yeah, I'm making your own home secure. I mean, it, it, it's not only that. I mean, it's where there's seniors that are, you know, wandering around somewhere or what's going on, your equipment. Uh, I mean, you had a story of the guy who, you know, loses his luggage. You have one of these little devices and you get them now on Kickstarter for 20 bucks, right? And you pop it in your luggage and you'll never lose that sucker. Actually, I just returned some, you know, running pants to one of the big manufacturers. I put in the normal... Uh, you know, post office. I didn't track it anyway. Oh, we don't have it. So, you know, I, I'm, I, I lost <laughs> that for 20 bucks. If I had that in the package, I'd have no problem. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's a cost effective alternative to many things that you could yeah. possibly think of. You know, I, for us, it came down to safety and security and um, providing a level, a measure of uh, security for not just us, but all the other parents. Yeah. But the use cases, the Kickstarter has been so successful so far that people are coming up with their own use cases on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to me, what's more important is that you have a history of where you've been. I mean, so if you're tracking anything, you have employees out around. I mean, it's not, to, you know, it's not like a beeper. You just find the person. I mean, you were able to track on the GPS. I mean, like crumbs, you call them even yeah. breadcrumbs, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so you have a history for the rest and to see, hey, how, how are we losing time doing this? And what's a better way to do it? I mean, data to me is the only thing that makes, you know, life more important in a way because you could do it better. You know, you need the data. You can't guess. So many of us want to guess. We feel our gut is like, Man, it may be, but you need the data <laughs> to, to you make know, it the, sure. The funny thing is, the other day I tried to call my wife on her uh -huh. cell phone, and her phone was dead. Ah. So I couldn't get a hold of her, so I was wondering where she was at. You know, so I thought, hey, I have one of these track thought devices in each one of my cars. I pulled out my phone. Two seconds later, there she is driving down the freeway. Ah, so she's just in a dead cell zone, huh? But either that or her phone battery was dead. I don't yeah, know what right. the problem was, oh, but well, that's just an terrific. example of. If you have it in your car, it's always in your car. So yeah. either way, you don't have to turn it on. You just leave it there. And it goes anywhere your car goes. But it seems like so many applications of business. I mean, you're talking about this one fellow who, who, who sends, you know, $5,000, you know, products out, you know, or something like that. Instead of relying on, you know, well, you buy insurance for something like that. It could be 100 bucks for the insurance, right? Yeah, they charge uh, quite a bit of money just for insurance. And instead of doing that, you can just throw one of these little devices in the package and away right. it goes. So yeah, 20 bucks is better than 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, from a fleet tracking perspective, I just call it small business enablement. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, when you're a small business and you're starting much like we are, um, every dollar counts. Right. And whether you're setting up a pizza shop or any type of delivery functionality, mm -hmm. Speed and efficiency and best products count. And so we get contacted by small businesses all the time saying, this is perfect. Like his brother-in-law owns a flower business. In Florida. Ah, perfect. You know? Yeah. And so he has all these delivery drivers out all over Florida delivering flowers. Exactly. And I guess he likes to know where they're at and when they'll be back and when they'll make the deliveries and people are asking where they're at and all that kind of information. So. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're at the front door or coming down or, or down the street. And that's why, to me, it's so much better than just the stuff that finds things for you. And that seems like so many of the products are, you know, I lost my key keys or something and it finds it or something. But, but this... Uh you know, to have that history of where you've been, and there's so many good commercial applications for that. And, and then, but you could tell if someone's speeding. Well, so the other thing is nice is this cloud server basically watches over all your track cloud devices you have. Wow. And it monitors them for certain things that you set. So in other words, if you set an alert, alert that says, if this track cloud is speeding, send me an email or send me a text message. Wow. So you just get a message on your phone that says you're, teenager is now speeding or your teenager <laughs> is not supposed to be or your teenager wow not you know, yeah that kind of oh, i mean that, that, that's terrific and, and, and I what's hate to, go I ahead, hate to spy on people right <laughs> i don't want to say that i don't trust my kids right but you just have an open discussion with them say hey you're right. 16 year old i'm going to give you a car i'm going to let you use this car it just makes me feel safer if i know you're yeah. safe 
And but I mean, if, you, if, if your five-year-old's in the park too, you, you trust yeah. her, but you know, she's five years old. You know? Yeah, she's going <laughs> she so. to see something bright and shiny, you know, and yeah. <laughs> we're all like that. Uh, no, it's a wonderful device, trackcloud.com, but you're on, uh, I mean, it's really pre-production now. So on Kickstarter, you could get this almost for nothing, right? What, what's the going price on Kickstarter? Right now, there's uh, devices for $29 Wow! that uh, use your own SIM card, uh-huh. or there's $39 devices that include the SIM card and data and everything. You don't I need see. to buy it. And, and you basically then, just but you if take you, it out of the box, turn uh-huh. it on, it goes. There you go. But you know, once this, you, know, you go in production, you see this in stores or somewhere, it's going to be like twice the price, right? Be about sixty nine dollars. Yeah. See, so now if it, you know, not only being the first one on your block to, to know where everybody in your house is going, but but you get a half price. I mean, that's what's so neat about Kickstarter and stuff like that. Well, that's and, the that's the beauty of Kickstarter, yeah. right? So you're you're pr- pledging for the privilege to get the device yeah. uh, before anyone else at a at a cost effective right. rate that you can consume. But once we go live into general production, which is in June of uh, this year. It's really sixty nine dollars plus ten dollars a month, wow. and you know that's yeah. horribly inexpensive for just about anybody to use it. Oh, absolutely, and it's a lot cheaper than a few other people out there. But they seem industrial stuff, you know, for police cars or something like that. Yeah, right. that, that you don't need all this stuff. Well, you guys are terrific, and, and people on Kickstarter are helping you. You know, you have so much money already, and you have got a few more weeks to go. So everybody believes in what you're doing, and they should because it's an ideal product, and and it just came from the brains of. Two guys, two dads, right in Texas. Yep. <laughs> two dads in Texas. Two da- and so that's trackcloud.com. And you, you, your kids have to tell you how to spell because you have a T R A Q, right? Cloud, C L O U D.com. And that's where to find it. You can get the Kickstarter from there. Or once Kickstarter's over, they could always find you there, right? Absolutely. Right. Well, keep inventing, guys. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Appreciate it. Okay, now you got an idea, you know, and it just takes effort to work on it, you know, and uh, bring it through fruition. It doesn't take any a whole lot of money in the beginning, and that's why you could use these websites to see how popular it is. These people will give you money ahead of time, you know, before you have to make it, and, and then accrue all the costs. So if you get enough people to buy it ahead of time, then hey, okay, you got a stack of money, now I can have it made. See? It's easy. Okay, I'm going to show you eight ways that you can make an extra couple thousand dollars a month just part-time right out of your home. And it costs you nothing. There's no scams. None of these people are ripping you off or whatever. The real websites I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you how to find out about each one of these things too. And the real work. You get real stuff to do. You know, And they just take, these websites just take a small percentage. So there's eight of them. I'm going to point, you know, every time I cover one, I'm going to show you the link to get more information information about each one of these things okay I'm gonna see if I can do it in 60 seconds or less okay one two three go okay okay oh <laughs> here's the first one how about two thousand dollars for the clothes in your closet you no longer wear or make an extra thousand dollars a month at home just being nice to pets that's right right out of your house or you like to cook how about an extra four hundred dollars a day right in your kitchen my kitchen's right over there or gardeners can make an extra ten thousand dollars in their backyard that's our yard back there how about make money running your car hassle renting your car hassle free plus free parking a free car wash and things like that or the easiest way to make seven thousand dollars from a spare room you know or an extra home apartment sofa bed or camper van or even a tree house if you have one or how about fifty five thousand dollars to start a business when you got a good idea but you have no money you have no product you have no experience and even bad credit okay and here's the last one jobs with no boss right sorry no schedule work when you want for how much you want and do it only if you want to do it okay each one of the links yeah are there as i mentioned them And look at that, that's exactly 60 seconds. So go to it. 
Okay, please watch this interview. I mean, it's something you really have to start learning. I mean, in a ne within the next year, it's going to be taking over the country and entrepreneurism and getting money and all this kind of thing. Because see, there's something called the Jobs Act that uh, Obama set up during the, you know the crash <laughs> a couple of years ago, and it's finally working its way through the legislative process. Well, actually, not through legislative, but through the bureaucracy of the security. Exchange Commission. See, for a small business to get publicly held uh, public money from investors, you know, it costs them hundreds of thousands of dollars to go through all these regulatory agencies or whatever to get approved and everything. The Jobs Act will make it easy now for you to do that. Number one, for you, anybody to be an investor in any public company anywhere and could do it on the web. And now it'll be easy for a, a company who's looking for money, a small business or entrepreneur wants to get money from anybody on the web, they could do it for next to almost nothing. You know, now it really takes hundreds of thousands of dollars. And what's neat about this, see, now you've heard all the stories about how these millionaires made so much money, you know, <laughs> when uh, somebody went public, you know, then face Facebook or Instagram or all these kinds of things that, that are going on. Uh, you know, these people who became millionaires when that stock went public were already millionaires. They were knew this on the inside before and that's how they become richer and all this kind of stuff. So you had to go to the country club or whatever or belong to some hoi polloi thing to be involved in this. That's not the case anymore. It's going to be open on the internet. So you have a hot idea. You could put it on the internet. I don't even know you from Adam, I can be able to go on the internet and, and uh, invest in your company as you're looking for members. I could talk to people who are also thinking about it and go right onto this website and talk to other people thinking about it in this country. Now, it's just at its beginning stages. You know, that's where this is. And actually, it's not national yet. You know, and the fellow I'm gonna to talk to is now doing this in Georgia because their state laws allow them to do it in Georgia. So in, in the next few months, it'll probably be open to the Wild West and everybody else will be able to do it. But this guy will be ahead of the curve because he's been gonna be doing it. He's gonna have a history like nobody else does it. So check out his site. You have to start learning. It's a place now. You, you know, if you're in Georgia, you could invest ten thousand dollars, you know, in the next hot Facebook or something, and be on the inside and go on his website and find out who else is investing in that. Right? Go on the website and talk to the people before you invest, not the the people you know trying to sell you something, but the other potential investors. See, that's what's neat. You'll be able to get this intelligence, you know, information about what may happen to this or whatever because everybody's guessing you know and, and but this is a way to make sure about any investment once it gets on the web and it becomes open to anybody see so you and anybody else uh, could find out about it and talk to other potential investors I mean to me it's going to revolutionize uh, the whole way we're going to be doing business at least raising money to do business and so whether you're an entrepreneur or an investor you have to watch this stuff because this is where it's going to be happening and you don't want to be the last one getting on this train you know because it's about it's leaving the station now so the sooner you learn about this the sooner you're able to be taken advantage of the more you'll be on the front edge and getting the better opportunities instead of on the w way in the back somewhere, get picking up the crumbs after Albert, everybody else already cherry picked everything. So start listening and start learning. Watch this interview. Well, Dave Lillenfeld of <laughs> SterlingThunder.com. Man, you're the only person in America that people can come to, frankly, if they, they want to raise venture capital as a small business or they want to invest in, you know, small or be an investor in a business without going through the SEC or any of that nonsense, right? So why are you able to do it and nobody else can do this? Yeah, great. Well, we're we're uniquely positioned because we are in the state of Georgia. Which ah. is only, one of, only one of two states that are allowing equity crowdfunding in uh, in the country currently for non-accredited ah. investors. So, so we're, people we just know, happen to be in the right place. So really, the rules are you've got to be a fat cat to in, to you know purchase equity in a in a stock or a company or, you know on the internet, except with you, right? Yep. <laughs> that you can be a little mouse or anybody you want and invest up like $10,000, that's what it is in Georgia? 
And in Georgia it is, but you're exactly right. I mean, when these these recently these technology companies go public and they make yeah. a lot of millionaires, what they don't tell you is that most of the people who became millionaires were already millionaires. Right. <laughs> right. So crowdfunding is a great opportunity for everybody in the country to get involved and participate in these early stage companies. Right, because I mean, no, I mean, my understanding, I'm not a fat cat who does all this, but I mean, it's like people hang around the country clubs and, uh, you know, know about some stockbroker has the deal and, you know, and, and the company really had to put up probably a couple hundred thousand dollars just in fees for lawyers to make it happen, too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And now, so this is right now you're only in Georgia, right? So you have yes. to be a company looking for money who's located in Georgia and you have to be an investor in Georgia. But Correct. soon it's going to be national, right? So you'll yeah. have you'll have more history than anybody else when everybody else gets the road, right? That's right. We'll have a track track record and uh, we'll be doing these kind of equity crowdfunding deals and uh, before the rest of the country because of uh, the rules here in Georgia and then the Jobs Act is coming that'll come right. wide and that'll really uh, really trigger I think the the the, the time for equity crowdfunding yeah. to shine now I, I think this are is out. probably the, the next next biggest thing since the internet you know th that's happening you know for small business but more importantly uh, it seems like if I'm a, an entrepreneur in Georgia and want to start a business and once the job acts gets you know officially uh, online, it could be anywhere. But to ra raise venture capital or not raise equity, this is somebody buys stock in my company, right? So if I'm a small business and I'm looking for people to invest in my company, I could come to your site and and you vent me a bit and make sure yeah, I'm not a gangster or whatever. And I go on your site and look for invest investors, but it costs me almost next to nothing to be able to do that on your site. Is that right? That's right. I mean, it's yeah. a very, very efficient way to raise capital. So yeah. we do recommend that there's some, um, you have a lawyer review, what we call the offering documents, if you're uh -huh. a company. Um, but that can be done inexpensively. We provide the documents, the sort of starter documents right. that should be reviewed by the legal counsel mm -hmm. once they're but that's not an expensive undertaking and like yeah. you said it's far less than Ooh. having to go through the more formalities involved with the SEC gosh and then as an investor uh, now who, who's gonna buy a share of this company then I come to your site and I look now you say what's interesting about your site is I know other people who are investing I mean I could find out on your site who else is investing in this stuff, right? And you can. Yeah. You can find out not only who's investing, but even before that, Matthew, you can figure out who's interested, who might uh, be investing. And I can you can communicate with them. You can vet. You can yeah. collaborate on your due diligence. So you can go through the process of vetting this investment mm -hmm. as a group. Even though you don't know each other, you as the potential investor share information. You share what you've learned. You share your expertise with each other and that group, that mm -hmm. collaborative effort really is probably the best due diligence out there. Yeah. So it's and like yes, I, and then you'll see who are, who are the investors and, right. and you can you can sort of tag along on to yeah. other investors if that's the way you want to do yeah. it. Well I yeah, you know, if you know somebody who's been hot at doing this, you just see if they're there and, and you help out. Right. But more importantly you're saying you can get questions asked from other people answered from other people who who are doing uh, this kind of investment too. So it's yep. like you're creating, you know, what, what used to be at the country club this happened, right? Your stockbroker said, hey, I got a deal for you, and, and you're at the country club, and, hey, you know, Charlie called me up, and you know, I got a deal, what do you think? And so now I don't have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars and belong to some country club, and I just go on your site. And yeah. it's the same process at no charge. <laughs> yep. Well, we're, we're right. You're right. We're making a, we're creating a community. Yeah. A community of folks and there's communication tools. And that's the whole, one of the major emphasis of crowdfunding is mm -hmm. letting the collective intelligence of the crowd make yeah. these decisions and share information. And on well, the it, entrepreneur it, it, side, like yeah. you touched on this too, on, on the entrepreneur side, it's just a much more efficient way to raise capital. Mm -hmm. I talked to, to CEOs. They spend 50, 60, 70 percent of their time trying to raise capital to make payroll. Mm. And this is a much more efficient, they say, you mean I can raise capital by just being in my office 
and yeah. <laughs> um, and managing this web page as opposed to flying to this coast and that coast and down all over. So the entrepreneurs are really excited yeah. about the opportunity to raise capital much more efficiently so they can focus on on their company. But it seems like also from a small investor, I mean, I get closer to the company I'm investing in. Instead of going through a stockbroker who may or may not know and he's just trying to make a commission and all. I mean, it's right the horse's mouth that I'm dealing with uh, as a small investor. And, well, one, of, and one of the things we expect to see is a, a local bias because investors uh -huh. will be able to pick, I mean, they'll be able, once the Jobs Act is implemented, they can pick from companies all around the country, right? But what we're expecting to see is they're going to have a, a they're going to prefer to invest in companies that they are, are near them, and they can yeah. go visit. Maybe they have some connection with the C CEO or men, men, yeah. member of the management team. So it's really, yeah. I mean, it, you, when when you're when you're getting investment through crowdfunding, you're getting capital, but you're mm -hmm. also getting advocates for your business. You're getting customers for your business. Hopefully, you're getting what we call smart money, which is folks who can, investors who can add something to your business in terms of connections or expertise. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about raising capital, there's there's more to it. There's a strategy behind who who comes on as investors in your company. No, I mean, I, I, I think you're absolutely right on that, particularly in a local area, that a small business really, so many more people will know about their capabilities and appreciate them and they spread the word. I mean, it's using that so-called social media to really be social about your business, you know, yep. uh, like nothing before instead of just a cold, you know, lawyer. There's also thing. ways, I mean, communities can get together and decide to fund, you know, uh -huh. there's a story about, um, and this went around on Facebook, but there was, a, in an area of, of Atlanta, there was an, sort of an absence of a Thai restaurant. Oh. And a group of neighbors got on Facebook and started a petition wow. um, for let's open a Thai restaurant in our area and you know who knows how to manage a restaurant? I who, some staff, <laughs> who, who wants to work there? And it really steamrolled yeah. Purely through online, so well, but, crowdfunding, but see, I think, will make that happen much more frequently. But even so, I mean, as you explain that, see, if they knew about your site, they could use your site to handle all the back-end details that's required for those investors and not worry a thing about that. They're probably out hiring lawyers like you used to be <laughs> to do that. Yeah. But you used to, you, you're an intellectual property rights lawyer, is that what you are? Correct. Yeah. We handle patents, trademarks, copyrights, I was involved with that whole world and it was, uh, you know, there's a lot happening in that in that world yeah. as well. Yeah, no, I, I'm sure because everything, <laughs> we're not making stuff, we're making information, so uh, that's what's going on. But why did, did you, you get know into... about trademarks, because I love your trademark. All right. I recognize you <laughs> my, mile away, doing your laugh and your hair and your great clothes, you've got it nailed down. <laughs> yeah, I went up to give a speech about branding up at Harvard Business School, and I had to get up there and say, God, I was just having fun, it was by accident, <laughs> I didn't know. Well, so you have a great one. You have a great uh, one. You've you. done a great job. Well, so why, what made you interested in crowdfunding? I mean, you're doing a good work, I'm sure, in uh, intellectual property. Yeah, I've always been an entrepreneur and I knew how uh, difficult it was to raise capital. So as soon as the Jobs Act passed, it was actually uh, the day um, president, the president signed the Jobs Act that we basically started working on Sterling Funder. So I just knew intuitively that this was going to be a much more efficient way to raise capital and it was going to give investors an opportunity to get in on these companies that they've never had any access to. Right. And so I, I just felt right away intuitively that this was going to be a, a big change. Yeah. I, I believe. I mean, it, it's opening the doors for a little guy to be in on the next, uh, you know, Facebook. And, and as you say, instead of millionaires only. Uh, but more importantly, what we forgot to cover is you also are what's called a reward crowdfunding site. I mean, you, you know, you don't have to buy economy. You could give T-shirts or something <laughs> yep. to, to get money for your site too, or your business. Yeah, we yeah. thought. I mean, we thought it was best for yeah. companies to be able to rate, have both kind of programs on yeah. one site. So, based on the way crowdfunding was shaping up, they would have had a customer capital, a company that wants to raise capital would have to go to one site for reward yeah. and another site for equity. And we decided right. that, that was inefficient. We brought them both. It was a lot more work for my developers, but they I brought see. it back. We brought them, brought them together, and you can do both. I think that's uh, yeah, brilliant because I mean if you're a small business, you know, you need five, ten grand or something like that, 
Yeah, maybe you don't want to go up raising shares, but you just need a new espresso machine in your coffee shop, you know? Yeah. And you could give little, you know, menus in your name or <laughs> call a coffee after you or something like that. You know, it's a great and, way, and I mean, yeah. and they said reward, we reward programs, reward uh, crowdfunding is a great testing ground. Yeah. So if you were able to raise money through a reward-based crowdfunding, yes. then you probably have an attractive product. You've already got built-in customers. You're you're beginning to build your your online presence. So it's a, it's just a good sign if you can have a successful reward exactly. program. It's a good indicator that you'll be able to be successful on the equity crowdfunding side. And it's, it's nice, nice to, to start, start with training wheels, right? Yeah. <laughs> Little League. We'll call it Little League. <laughs> well, David, wonderful you're there, and it's SterlingFunder.com. You're the practically the first in the country that's out offering equity investing to the little guy. So you're going to be the grandfather of this soon. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, so hang in there. It's it's a whole big team working on it. Yeah, uh, I'm happy to happy to be here, and I'm really glad that you're here helping spread the word about crowdfunding. I think it's important, and I'm I'm glad you're doing it. Oh, thank you so much. Sterlingfunder.com. Thank you, David. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Okay, see, now it, it's something. Maybe you don't want to invest. Well, you can't unless you're in Georgia, your business in Georgia right now. But, uh, or you're a fat can. See, if you're making over a, you know, $200,000, there are other websites, you know, that you could invest in because you're called what's called a registered investor. That's a fat cat. But if you just have a couple thousand bucks or something like that, you can't do that anywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> but you will soon. And, and that's why his site lets you do that in Georgia. You know, so this is coming to a theater or a a website near you soon, so get ready. You know, I think there's nothing more important in our country than education. I mean, uh, I think our future depends on it, our current future depends on it. Even I'm an old guy, I still feel that educating young people is the most important thing we have to do in this country. And we're slipping in the country, I mean, in the world. I mean, we're down to like number 20 or something like that. In, in literacy, that's right. I mean, it sounds almost un-American. And what's going on? Well, here's a guy, a young man and his partner trying to change this single-handedly and by using the internet. So he's providing a website for students, teachers, or whatever that need money to do something. Something special for their kids. They all need iPads to work on this science project in order to do it right or whatever. They all have to take a trip to go somewhere or whatever, you know, to, to learn something important. You know? And they need special books, new books, because the information changes and it takes so long in the bureaucracy, you know, to get anything from the school board or the university university system or whatever it takes a year so on their website you know teachers students or whatever could get the money they need to learn the way they should be learning in like 30 or 60 days that's right you know and the teachers could do it themselves they don't have to go into some board meeting and <laughs> or elected official and convince them or whatever no they could go right on the internet to do it and the kids could do it themselves too that's right and the kids probably know how to do it better than the teachers because they know how to use this social media and everything and that's what you know getting money on the web is all about you know it's not it's not you know going and raising you know having donut sales or selling candy bars nah gosh that's old school that's not well how much are you gonna do that you know uh, but now on the internet to raise serious money and that's just this website does it's a new company you know that concentrates just on doing that and that's what's cool so it's going to empower teachers, schools, students. Students can now, hey, I want better equipment in my <laughs> lab here that I'm a student in. They can get on the web now and just do that and get the money for them. Also, these guys who just started this company, you know, a few months back, just been awarded $25,000, you know, uh, investment in their idea from what's called an accelerator program called Tech Wildcatters down in Texas. Now, these accelerator programs are what give money and expertise to people who want to do something cool, you know, and they have something, an uh, uh, idea that they want to share and, and contribute to society. Now, they competed against 400 people from a around the world, you know, on ideas, and they're one of like 12 out of 400 that got the money, plus they get three months of X 
expertise from the best professionals in the world to help them grow their business. So this thing is gonna take off, you know. So you gotta watch this. Well, Andy Shea, and it's Siberion, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, close enough. But more importantly, it's PledgeSense.com. And this yes. is a way for teachers, students, to get money, free money on the internet for their projects at school, right? And That's you right. just look like you're not far out of school yourself. So how'd you get into doing this stuff? Yeah, so so Ricky Johnson, my, my business partner, co-founder, and I, uh, We've been really passionate about education and wanting uh -huh. to give back um, and creating a platform that's easy, that's fun, that's unique, um, that allows money to get put directly back into our classrooms uh -huh. for the teachers who are on the front line who are seeing resources taken out of their classrooms and out of their schools. Um, so we, we have a lot of friends who are teachers uh -huh. and who deal with this personally. Um, and we hear the stories. And so we wanted to create a platform that makes it easier for them to get those resources for their students. Well, I mean, looking on your site, I mean, it, it looks easy as heck, man. You'll even do the site for the teacher, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so they don't even have to take a test to do this, right? You'll do it for them. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I see the stuff that's on there. I mean, it, it's like uh, somebody who needed for their AP class, they needed Spanish textbooks for the new version. The school didn't have it, so the kids couldn't take the test. So you're going to raise money for these people, so these kids are prepared, you know, because the school system won't do it <laughs> but but you guys will do Andy Shea and Ricky will do it for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, that's yeah that's the, been uh, been what we've been doing so far and, and today yeah. we've uh, been able to raise over thirty thousand wow. dollars for classrooms around the country and yeah. and signing up more and more schools and more and more teachers so hopefully this will be a uh, continuously growing for them. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's just a natural. I mean, I, I think, and I congratulate you because there, there's nothing more important in our country than education, nothing more important to take care of kids. This is what life is all about. If we don't give the best effort we can to every young person in this country, we, we're gonna be worse off. <laughs> and that's what we seem to be doing. So you're providing a platform for now anybody to get engaged, like these kids need iPads to compete. So you got somebody on your site, a teacher who said, hey, yeah, in this science class, we need this to be able to compete in the world. And you're raising iPads for these kids because the school system won't give it to them. Yeah, with, with budget cuts, unfortunately, districts yeah. and schools just are getting cuts and resources taken out. And so these mm. teachers are having to find different ways outside of the traditional means to reach outside of their community yeah. to raise more money. And so the platform enables anyone, anywhere, at any time to give anything. Right. Uh, so you can give $500, you can give $10 or $50. Right. And it still makes an impact directly in a classroom. Mm. Well, I mean, also, it seems to me that now the, the a teacher or the students, I mean, the students can help with all this. The teacher may not know what Facebook is, but every kid does, you know, or Twitter or whatever, exactly. you know, and they could be the doing the one. Instead of going knocking on doors selling candy bars, man, they could show, hey, we really need these tools to live better or a special field trip where they want to go to or something like that, anything. And you're giving the kids the power to get the money to do that. Yeah, and that's what the, the benefit is too, that the kids are able to be a part of it and be able to yeah. utilize social media the way they always do, um, but to benefit themselves and to raise money and learn about social media marketing and learn about budgeting and finance and all the stuff that you don't use or learn about uh, inside the classroom sometimes. Yeah, I mean, so selling chocolate different. bars is just, you know, who the hell should be teaching how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> We're fat enough already. We don't need to, we don't need to go to school learn how to sell chocolates or cookies or crap yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> we need to how to get problems solved. And what you're gonna do is teach, you know, all the young people in this country how to use the internet to get your problems solved so you don't have to go to some meeting at the town council because some old fart there doesn't want it done. You know, you can go around the system yeah. and, and use the website to do all this stuff. Exactly, and that's, that's why we have that motto, for the youth, by the youth. Um, wow. Because we really want to empower the students. Yeah. And our whole, on our site, everywhere we go, you see the word invest, because we're yeah. investing in our students. This is our future, that if we're not taking care of them, then right. where are we going to be 20, 30 years from now? 
No, there's nothing import, more important at all. And, and, and the nicest thing to do, and I think in life, is to give. That's the most selfish thing because it feels so great. So what's better than to give to someone's education? Uh, now you have another interesting thing on the site. These bracelets, these, these, these uh, yeah, what, what do they call cents place? Pledge cents place? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's a penny. Yeah, and and you can make them for a school's colors, right? So yes, that, yeah. that's an extra fundraiser or a, a gift item for a pledge, huh? Yeah, so you can, you can, we have the bracelets in 16 different colors on the site. Uh -huh. um, and it goes with our motto, because every cent counts. So we put pennies on the ah, I see. to help symbolize your public support for better education uh -huh. for our youth. So people can purchase them on the site at any time for themselves. Um, and then schools can purchase them so that they can have their students go out and do another fundraising. I see. Site the popcorn and chocolate bars. Right. They sell the bracelets and their school colors to grow that ah, community yeah. um, where people are giving five dollars and right. get a bracelet in return for the school colors. So. Uh, that's terrific. And also, you know, I think what's neat, Andy Shea, about what you guys are doing, I mean, you're two young guys have great careers going and you decided to chuck it off for this venture that you're doing. And you recently got accepted into the one of the best incubator programs in the country called Tech Wildcatters. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, well, sir. tell, I mean, most people don't know what accelerators or, or incubator programs are. Explain a little bit about that. Yeah, so basically what the pro accelerator incubator programs um, are for, built for startups who have a great idea, who have an idea that needs to get, for lack of better terms, accelerated. Uh, uh, you need money and help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to get more mentorship, to get more uh, ideas, uh -huh. and more strategies in place that some of the founders may not think about or know too much yeah. about. Um, and so we've been blessed and, and really so fortunate to get into Tech Wildcatters. Um, and so we go down to or up to Dallas for three months to work with their team. Wow, I see. So this is a place, now you applied, I mean you show them their business you're trying to start, and you're a young business, so they're helping, and so you presented, I guess uh, you, you had to compete with a whole bunch of other businesses, and, and you were chosen to get this you know, three month incubator program, and, and, and they invest in your company too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was about 400 companies who applied. Right. 24 got to pitch in front of the groups. Wow. And 24, about 12 to 14 got accepted into the program. And these so, are companies from all around the world. So you competed with 400 companies and you're one of 12 that got yeah. into this thing? So, I mean, but it's money too, right? I mean, so now yes. you have extra funding money. So they, you they got mo money, money to, and how big of a number is that? Uh, they give you twenty-five thousand dollars. Wow! Well, that's a nice kick start. It's, it's, it's not too shabby. <laughs> yeah, but also more importantly is all the talent now you have for three months to help you grow this thing, uh, to make sure every teacher now can take advantage of non-traditional sources of money to do stuff for our kids. I mean, nothing's more important than to do stuff for our kids, and and, and you found a way to use you know uh, uh, capitalism <laughs> to, to help. Do that. <laughs> yeah, our our whole mindset is with this program, you know, with the great mentorship that they provide, uh -huh. is to make Pledge Sense a lot more accelerated, where teachers now can see the benefits. Um, yeah. and they don't have to wait a year from now or two years yeah. from now until we grow. Um, that we can uh, make a right. difference today yeah, um, so for well, these teachers, for these students, right now. We're slipping down. I mean, we're on, on some of the international charts. We're down like. You know, number twenty in the world in learning math. You know, I mean, God, that's un American. You know, so you got to get us out of the basement there. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know if we'll get us out of the basement, but we'll provide a stepping ladder yeah. to, to take the next step. Whatever so. it is, I mean, it, there's nothing more important to work on now, I think. You know, in the world, what's going on and how we have to compete worldwide. People are starting to knock our pants off, you know, and, and, and we got to. The way to compete is to educate, and we got to start with those young kids. And, and thank you for being there, because yeah, you know, I can't think of anything more needed now, you know, than somebody who wants to help those kids learn better, so we can compete in a world economy. <laughs> yeah, we're blessed to do what we do and to work with the teachers that we work with. Who, the more the the best thing about what we do is realizing these teachers and seeing how passionate they are yeah. for their students. 
And then you get you get energized yourself. Absolutely, These man. Chiefs are so hard work, and they're just so passionate. They're gonna make you work harder because exactly, you know that exactly right. exactly. you know what you're doing is really gonna help them. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Andy. So it's PledgeSense.com. That's C E N T S dot com, right? Yes, sir. No, thank you very much for taking time and helping us. Hey. Now you're helping, the, you're helping the world. Thank you. Jay. Thank you very much. Have All a good right. one. All right. Ah, you're convinced. I mean, that's it. I mean, do you pick a project you think is important in the world? See, to me, everything is difficult in life. Life is not easy. If it was easy, you know, <laughs> it'd be boring as hell, wouldn't it? But everything you're going to do is difficult. So if you take an idea that is really important for you, You'll get through those difficult times because you'll have the power behind your idea because you want to do it so much to get over any hurdle or blockade or whatever anybody puts in front of you. You'll just do it.